welcome to the vlog um so i'm starting it here because i do have an intro clip but you probably aren't gonna see it because it's really windy i'm not talking loud enough i'm also very much out of breath it's just kind of a clear as to what is going on but i am going shopping uh because this was actually last weekend from the day i'm editing it today um this was last weekend and I just wasn't feeling super well. I kind of needed to get out of my apartment and do something, so I decided to take myself shopping. Um, and the first stop on our little shopping adventure is Urban, so that's where we'll be headed into next. So enjoy the vlog! I don't think I'm gonna buy anything but I came here to get out of the house. I'm looking for a dress for my birthday. I think there's one I want from Target, but I might as well look at Urban and some of the other stores. Trader Joe's. Okay, I'm out of Trader Joe's. There's also really loud music outside of this restaurant, but um, that was the most crowded Trader Joe's I've ever been to. I've been to this one of most, but it was so crowded. Like, I probably waited in like a good 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know, I guess the one where I live, like, it's just a little bigger, so it doesn't always feel as crowded. There you go. Um, and I'm trying to go to Levain. I honestly should check if it's open or not on Sundays before I walk all the way there. So I'm going to start filming. I'm going to check if it's open. Okay, it is. So I'm going to get some cookies. I'm so excited. Alright. I went to the bakery. I'm all the way back. I tried some of my cookie. I got their double chocolate chip, which I thought Matt I was buying two cookies. Cause I was like, oh, to get a cookie for Lauren, she hasn't been feeling good. Maybe she'll like that. No, I only bought one. And then when that happened, I got too embarrassed to say anything. But also, I'm on Sun Street, and I'm crossing the bridge. I know for a fact, everybody takes like their picture on the bridge on Michigan. If you want a picture on a bridge, and you are coming to Chicago, like move a couple streets over and that bridge is way less crowded. I'll input my picture here. I'm scared. <laughs> There's a running way. 
Um, and yeah, so if you ever come visit Chicago, stop taking your picture at that crowded bridge on Michigan. If you're trying to get to Mag Mile, just go up one block and the bridge will be empty and you can get a great little picture to you and your family. Okay, okay. Um, I could walk back. I could also take a bus. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what I do. So I'm back home. I don't know where my tripod is. So I'm kneeling and this is leaning on some vitamins on my counter. What did I get? Um, so from Trader Joe's, I just got two things of sparkling water. This is the one I got last time, which is the raspberry lime. And then I'll try the cranberry clementine. I enjoy having sparkling water. I just realized I might as well get the bottles because I'll drink a bottle in like three days and it won't get flat if I keep it closed in my fridge. So why am I lugging around this big giant case of like cans? I should just get bottles. Also from Trader Joe's, I got some jelly bean hearts. I hope they're good. I'm worried they're going to be bad, but we will see. And then from Glacier, I think I showed you all, but I got the mangobalm.com balm.com I always want to say .com because of balm um, I got this during spring break last year but then I left it in the car and got super gritty and gross um, so I got a new one let's see Ooh, I got a special Chicago Glossier sticker with it and then last but not least Urban. I got these candles, which you saw, which I think will be great for my birthday. Um, so I can put them on my cake and they'll look really cute. And then I also got these little hoop earrings. Anywho, guys, um, that's going to be the end of the vlog movie. I did get a bunch of packages from my parents, so I might unbox them with y'all. I will say I'm going to take a bit of a break from the vlog because uh, walking around like I don't know how to describe it it's cold outside but you're also sweating at the same time so I'm gonna decompress a little maybe drink some water um but then I'll probably be back in a little bit to unbox a bunch of packages with you all hello um I'm back we're here at my couch and let me do an unboxing for you. I have one, two, three, four, five boxes. I should know mostly what's in them, but honestly, I don't remember what I packed. And my mom packed a lot of these for me. I should stop throwing these scissors around. And open up the box. Box one is, oh, I have a felting set that I got for Christmas. I got some earrings that I got for Christmas with little Snoopies on them. A single disposable Barbie razor I got at Miniso because when I was in LA I needed a razor but I ended up leaving this in Sam's bag and never used it. So if I ever travel again, which I probably will, um, I will use that. A jar opener that I also got for Christmas. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, first thing, Glossier lip gloss in the shade Holographic. Some gummy bear flavored lip balm from Trader Joe's. A bunch of mini brands that I got for Christmas. Another makeup product, I have the Glossier this isn't the ultra lip, which one is this? Okay, Generation G in the shade Crush. I'm sorry if it's not fully focusing on some of these things. I have this great little mug. So I don't know where my mom had this mug, but she said I could have it. It's a nice little glass mug with a lid and then it comes with a little spoon. Oh. I also have some nice little Tupperware containers with lids. 
Oh, and then to go along with the gummy bear lip balm, it's the Trader Joe's gummy bear flavored overnight lip mask as well. And then I got this little bucket hat I also got for Christmas. These uh, candle tin trio, also from Trader Joe's that I bought myself, but they only had during the holidays. And I think I'm gonna get the nut give the nutmeg one to Lauren because I really like the fresh currant and the cranberry pine, but nutmeg, like those sweeter, more vanilla, vanilla y scents. I sometimes like them like for like perfume, but not necessarily like them for in my apartment. And then a toothbrush. On to our next box. There's a bunch of bubble wrap and packing peanuts in this one. I think this one might be a bowl. Like a nice serving bowl. What's in this box? Is a Le Creuset serving bowl. My uncle actually just got this for me. I'm really excited because that's actually going to be really, really nice for my birthday because I'm trying to have like a little tea party kind of but Two boxes down, three more to go. So now on to the second pile. Unless my mom put more things in this box, I think this is a set of bowls. So our place has these really nice like prep and serving bowls kind of that are both like bowls and Tupperware. So I think that should be what's in here. It is. Okay. So I'm not going to continue taking it out of this box. Um, I'd rather just wait till I am in my kitchen and like washing them and all that kind of stuff. But here's a picture of what they look like. And let's go into the more miscellaneous boxes. First things first is my bee blanket. Um, I love this blanket. I got it when I was in LA. It's a Minecraft bee blanket. I got it because the hotel we were staying at, it was booked by my school, so I had no say in the hotel we booked. But it just was like, it was like cute and it ended up being like fine, but it was just a little crusty and uncomfortable from time to time. So I needed like something nice and soft to like give me comfort. So I bought this blanket while I was there. I also have this purse that I love. Um, it's actually very similar to a purse I got for Christmas, but I like that that one's a bagu and this one's more of a like fake leather, leather, whatever. Um, so it's nice to have for nicer events. I have this cookbook that was my grandma's that I got for Christmas um, with some Bisquick to go along with it. I also got my diffuser for my hairdresser that I, hairdresser? Hair dryer that I also got for Christmas as well as just some pajamas that I left at home. And then the last spot, first thing, is some Tupperware. I already have some of these Tupperware. I just got more of them because I really like them. The bottom's microwave safe, even though the little lid's not. Um, but they're just a really good size. Some more Tupperware. Um, these ones are quite a bit smaller though. Actually, when I asked for them for Christmas, I didn't realize how much smaller they were. That's still a good size for lunches and snacks and things. I'm gonna go into the food. So I got this nice little chocolate heart. Uh, it's a, like a marshmallow treat. So there's like marshmallow covered in chocolate. Um, my parents will send me one for like every holiday. Um, I got some toothpaste. Um, basically, I have weird enamel. So I have to have uh, anti-cavity toothpaste that has extra fluoride that you have to get specialty from the dentist. So it's a pain for me to uh, get toothpaste. And then some, this is stuff my uncle sent me for Christmas. My uncle's from Hawaii, so he always sends me this candy with leaking on it. That's how I say it. I'm probably saying it wrong. But these are uh, jumbo sour watermelons. And then some sour apples. I haven't had these ones before. But like, I love a Sour Patch Kid. If you love a Sour Patch Kid um, and are in Hawaii, 
the leaking is so good on it. Oh, and then I have some Cedron, which is lemon verbena. Um, it's just in like a container. My mom just packed it for me. Um, my grandparents have it in their backyard, uh, have a plant. So we just take leaves off of it, but then my mom will dry it. And this is the first time she actually successfully sent it to me, but you just make this tea called Cedron, which is just these leaves as well as cinnamon sticks. And it's just like, I don't know it's just the most like comforting like there's no caffeine in it it's not very like strong of a flavor it's just like very nice and comforting and i like i love it and i miss it what else i have more chocolate i have some trader joe's coins of the world milk chocolate i don't think i've had these ones before <laughs> And then also my cousin got me this giant uh, Trader Joe's coin. And then my mom and I bought this for the house and we never ate it. But this is a thing of Jingle Jangle that I might. Okay, this goes back in September, so I might save it for my birthday. Jingle Jangle is so good. If you've never had it from Trader Joe's, I'm sorry, you can't buy it. It's a seasonal item, so you have to wait to like november or december to get it but it is so good it is um let me read so it's milk and dark chocolate covered pretzels dark chocolate covered caramel popcorn milk chocolate candy so kind of like m&ms dark chocolate en enrobed jojo's cookies and milk and dark chocolate mini peanut butter cups and this is so good it's also so rich like every time i have it I eat just a, like I eat a handful and then I'll eat another handful and then I'm like sick because it's so rich but it's so good and then my dad I know these are from my dad because uh, they're Barnum's animal crackers I know these are from my dad because every time we would go to the grocery store growing up he would get me a pack of these I'm worried they're crushed but these are so good and then something else I got for Christmas and the last thing this little unboxing is this Animal Crossing, the unofficial Animal Crossing cookbook that I got for Christmas. But with that, um, that is everything. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, but with that, make sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Angela.Mary.Gooler and on TikTok at Angela.Mary. I know when I like first started saying like, to follow me on other platforms i was like i know i'd never say this but like now i feel like i should say it right i don't know let me know um i also wrote this in the description of one of my other videos but let me know any videos you would like to see from me especially when it comes to my like dot 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 with me series any video suggestions you want to see over there um i know this is like my first vlog in a while. It's definitely a different style than like my dot 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 with me series. But thanks for sticking around and watching anyways. And I will see you all later. Bye.